Yep, Organi XL, fresh off the roll. It is by far the fastest chain I've ever ran. And I'm gonna explain how I get it there. In order to test my hypothesis, we're gonna use one stock chain. Bill Nye the cutting guy. Bill, 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 Bill. This is a Symington. There are many others like it, but this one is mine. You don't need it to make your chain go fast, but it really helps. Ugh, you should see the other guy. Here's a stock profile on the Oregon EXL chain. There is the cutting side and here is the back side. I love ported chainsaws. I love mufflers. I love modified pipes. That stuff is all wicked cool and it does add performance. But if you're running a dull chain or an improperly filed chain and your corners are all messed up, the porting and the pipes, it's not even worth it if you can't run a good chain. If you're not running a sharp chain, you're not going to get to see a majority of those performance enhancing things. Just give me one. Okay, I'm off my soapbox. That's a good angle. Oh wow, this thing is very underrated. Just spinning up some chain. Should be able to move freely and independent. So when you punch these links out, you wanna be right in the, in the middle there or else you're not gonna get it. All right, so first up we got a recently spun stock EXL organ chain. Um, and then I'm gonna throw on my square ground chain. Monster. So here's how we get to the fastest chain I've ever ran, uh, starting out with the stock chain. And I'm gonna show you guys the square chain and how much faster it is just walking back to where i'm going to cut now and you're going to be able to see how much faster it is and decide for yourself if it's something you want to pursue or not or choose to stay in the dark square is not for everybody if you're doing firewood and stuff like that if you're cutting wood professionally square is something to look at if you're in cleaner wood also a square ground chain cuts much better on an angle. I'm also going to be running the DGP Eco Oil um, from everything I've seen so far. It's it's a lot cleaner. It's cold.
This thing comes in handy. Uh, it's sweet, but if you don't have it with you, you gotta walk back to your truck. Walking back to the truck gave everything time to cool off. Here is the square ground chain. I'm still playing with my angles a bit. At Bunyan, I got to talk with Buckin a little bit about, you know, what, what might make this thing a little less hungry.
myself a little bit of coffee here those are some decent results right squares a lot faster and that's only in small wood imagine what it can do in bigger wood Oof. thanks for sticking around this long those are the results if you like what you see here check out another video uh, watch hours are really um, helping me right now so thank you guys for tuning in we're at 1400 subscribers which is crazy uh if i think we're 1420 or 30 something now thank you guys all for being here now i'm gonna enjoy some of this sweet black gold rip saw's got ported saws and i've got ported coffee We don't need no stinking creamer. It's coffee. But seriously, good coffee doesn't need creamer. As always, thanks for hanging out, and I'll see you on the next one.